Hey everyone, this is Kevin Shriver from Your Pet Business Now. Hope you all are doing very well. Thanks as always for watching. Today's concept is I want you to understand the idea of building some space between a stimulus and your response. Now, this concept is a very mature concept to understand. It takes a lot of time and experience to develop this. But this, this space that you have in between is extremely valuable for you in running your business. Let me explain a little bit. Dogs and animals that you're working with every day don't have this space between their stimulus and response. Something input comes in from the environment, they flee, you know, their response, they fight, they flee, or they freeze, right? Fight, flight, or freeze. Something comes in, they have a response, they respond to it. Humans, on the other hand, we have the ability to build this space in between. So it's not just stimulus and then response. We can have stimulus, have a space in between, and then have a response. And in that space, that's where you can develop your business, your promotional items. You can figure out and analyze situations in a better manner. Because in business, you're going to get a lot of stimulus, clients, dogs, schedules, traffic, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff is going to come in. You can respond by getting overwhelmed, frustrated, you know, angry right away, as opposed to learning to manage it in the proper fashion. Clients are going to have requests. You will attempt to respond very quickly to a client request and that may disrupt everything else in your day. That was could be a poor response. Obviously, we can't analyze every situation here. Uh, every, you could analyze the situation better looking back on it. A new client comes in and is requesting a lot of things, and you say yes right away to all of their stuff, and you realize that the client's more of a pain in the ass than they are um, an actual win-win relationship. This becomes painful. This becomes disruptive to you and your business plan. This space is the key to growth. When stimulus come in, again, stimuli come in, boom, 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 a lot of stuff coming in, you need to have the time. Time is the best thing to do is just, you know, now don't have too much time in here. If you wait, you know, five days to respond to something, then that's, that's not a good thing. However, responding to clients, you can do that quickly, but giving an answer or giving a final conclusion is... You, you know, you can take time on that, right? You don't have to answer a client right. You can respond to a client and say, hey, I'd like to get back to you on that or I'd like to talk with my team and see what we can work out. Would you be okay if I got back with you tomorrow? That's a perfect example of building in some space so that you can think about the problem and step back from the problem or the challenge or the stimuli, whatever that is. When you have that space, you can look and analyze the situation much easier to analyze and give the proper course correction when you have that perspective. If you are simply running your business on stimulus and response, again, no space in there, you are going to be overwhelmed, you're going to be frustrated. So if you're watching this video and you are overwhelmed and frustrated, I would challenge you to think about building some space in your responses to the stimulus and the stimuli that come in. One quick tip that I've seen a lot of individuals use, typically in managing some of the stimulus that come in, a lot of it's client requests or new client requests. A lot of people will build in some space, and I do this for my own world, as I have kind of an autoresponder on emails, as well as um, on phone calls with my answering service, I will actually tell them, you know, Kevin is not available until the morning time or the evening time. And whatever that you know, whatever their whatever time frame you would want, I basically build that around my schedule so that I can execute on the requests that are happening in the day, and then I don't let other stimuli get me off track, so that I can respond appropriately. I have a system to communicate that to clients so that nobody's left in the dark as it relates to you know follow up from my business. And we follow up very promptly, but I at least build in a couple hours so that I am telling not you know. Basically, I'm not training my clients that the moment they connect with me and they ask me a tough question or something that I am going to, you know, respond right away and uproot my whole day for them. I do provide great service and we do provide great service. 
and I want you to provide it as well. But setting that expectation of just telling clients that you're going to have a little bit of time to get back to them is a very healthy boundary that you can set with your clients. More importantly, it's healthy for yourself, for your own business, and for your goals so that you can stay on track and not get uprooted by or blown off course by every gust of wind that comes uh, across your ship. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. This is Kevin Shriver from Your Pet Business Now. Thanks as always for watching and have a great rest of the day.